What's going on guys, it's Hi with the uh, Life You Say, and this is my Sony a7R 3 Over the past few days, I've been recording a lot with this camera, but I've been running into some issues because it doesn't seem like face detection was working properly. Well, after spending some time going through the menus of this camera, I found three settings that actually turn your face detection off. So if you're having issues with face detection not working, stick around because this video might really help you out. So throughout this video, I'm going to be showing you the rear monitor of my Sony a7R 3 The main thing that I want you to focus on is this face detection AF on indicator. As you can see, I'm currently recording 4K 30p and face detection is on. So let's just go through the menus and I'll show you what I found that affects face detection. The first thing we're going to be looking at is camera setting 2 and in page 1, proxy recording. Now according to the manual, proxy recording allows us to record low bit rate movies that are smaller in size and are suitable for transferring to smartphones and uploading to websites. But unfortunately when you turn proxy recording on, face detection turns off. So if you want face detection, just turn proxy recording off. The next setting that's going to have an effect on face detection is control with smartphone under the network setting page 1. Now control with smartphone doesn't necessarily affect face detection directly. It's more so when you have always connected on. Now watch this indicator. Face detection has turned off. And if we go back into the menu, turn always connected off. It's back on. So if you want to have control with smartphone always connected on, you can do that. A workaround would be to turn on airplane mode, which essentially turns it off anyways. So either way, you will have to have that setting off. The last setting that I've found to affect face detection will be for those who use external monitors and external recorders like I am currently doing with this Sony a7R 3 And as you can see, face detection is turned off. The setting that we would be looking at is... 4K output select under the toolbox menu page 4. By default, this setting is set to memory card plus HDMI. This is essentially a redundant dual recording feature which allows you to record to the memory card and to your external recorder at once. Unfortunately, when you do this, face detection gets turned off. But if we change it to one of the HDMI features, 30p or 24p, depending on what you're recording, face detection is turned back on. And those are the three settings that I found that actually turned your face detection off. So keep in mind, I did not design this camera, it's software, or anything that you've seen. Don't ask me why these settings can't be turned on with face detection, I have no idea. The most probable guess would be that the camera just can't handle running all these features at once. Unfortunately, a lot of these features are really helpful, like being able to dual record so you have a redundant copy so in case something happens, you have a backup. And that's just really unfortunate that we have to turn that off. But it is what it is. If you want face detection, that's what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to turn the features that I've shown off. One thing that I want to point out is that face detection gets affected differently depending on the frame rate and the resolution of the video that you are recording. So you're not shooting 4K, you're shooting 1080p, 720p, you're shooting 120 frames per second, 60 frames a second. Face detection gets affected differently, so you just have to play around with these settings. Hopefully you're able to figure out your face detection problems and make videos a lot easier. If this video has helped you out, give it a thumbs up, share it around, comment down below with any thoughts or questions that you may have. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more content. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.